Okay, so I just finished watching Aliens. Um, I don't know that this is going to be terribly long as far as reviews go because, I mean, how many times can I just say it was a really good movie, like, over and over again? Um, yeah, so I had never seen this movie before. Um, I saw Alien for the first time a couple of years ago. Uh, and that's a really good movie, too. Like, horror movies are not my bag, generally. But I figured, like, these are also sci-fi movies, so I should watch them. And this is definitely an example where the sequel is just as good as the original. Um, I don't want to say necessarily better. It's just that it actually manages to take what's really good about the original and actually make it bigger um, without completely ruining everything about it. Um, yeah, that was really good. Um, <laughs> it was scary, it was horrifying, it was gross, it was really suspenseful. I liked some of the characters, um, and they all served their purposes, I think. Uh, I kind of like didn't know going in very much of how it was gonna play out. Like, I knew that Ripley and the little girl were gonna... Like, I knew there was a little girl. I knew Ripley and the little girl were gonna survive. Didn't know about any of the other characters. And I also knew that there's a scene where Ripley um, goes in, like, the the, the machine thing that, that you wear that picks up, like, boxes. I knew at some point she fights an alien while wearing that. So I was like, okay, so an alien has to get up to the spaceship somehow, because that's where the thing is. So I knew that was going to happen. But other than that, I had no idea. So it was, like, really delightful. Um, yeah. I, it was just a really good action sci-fi horror movie. Um, and I think everybody who's seen it would agree. <laughs> I don't think there's any debate about the the goodness or whatever of Alien or Aliens. Um, I don't really know if there's anything specific I want to talk about. Not really. I mean, this is kind of one of those iconic movies, I guess. Um, And, uh, yeah, I'm like, uh, trying to think of something to say, um, just so that this review isn't only, like, three minutes long. Um, I liked how Ripley was so affected by her, um, her time in Alien, like, how she was so, had nightmares and was so disturbed by it and everything. And, um, I really liked seeing how she was able to adapt to using the weapons and actually fighting the aliens and taking, like, what she knew about them and translating that into fighting them. And, um, mm, I like the sort of sci-fi aesthetic of these movies, too, um, because that's something I kind of like to think about when it comes to science fiction on a screen where you can actually, you know, see what stuff looks like and all the design and whatnot. I mean, the alien design is... Uh, it's gross and creepy, but the more you see of it, you know, it kind of loses some of that if you see the aliens for too long on screen or whatever. There was a moment where, like, the horrible queen alien was like, had just m killed or chopped up Bishop. I guess he's not actually dead. But, um, and she was, like, coming down from where she'd been kind of hanging on the ship. And she just, her legs look so weird. Like, they look slightly too much like human legs. <laughs> that you're like, I'm like, somebody somewhere has definitely drawn this alien with, like, fishnet stockings as, like, a joke. <laughs> this has happened. Um, so it's not what I should be thinking, but... I always think the... But when you did see the Queen the first time, 
where all the eggs are coming from was super gross. And the face hugger things are always really nasty and scary. Um, God, okay, the the first kind of time they see they see the face huggers in like the the science lab, and it's like you you fucking know one of them, the guy's gonna put his face up against the glass, and the fucking face hugger is gonna come to life and flop at him. It's like you know it, you know it. I've never seen the movie and I knew it was gonna happen, and I still jumped. <laughs> like of course. Um, oh my God, and like. That weaselly corporate douchebag. I'm so glad he died. <laughs> what a dick. And what a fucking idiot. Um, I'm really glad that the, uh, that Bishop, the android, was, first of all, I'm glad that he's, like, not dead at the end. But I'm also glad that he wasn't a traitor of any kind. He was just kind of a good, a good dude. Um... Right, right, right. Aesthetic, sorry. So the aliens, like, I, I like the very, um, very industrial look of just everything in this movie, practically. Like, this colony, you know, it doesn't, as far as sci-fi goes, doesn't attempt to make everything look super futuristic. Like, honestly, I mean, I don't know how computers and, and whatnot would have looked to somebody in the 80s watching this movie, but, you know, so they might have seemed a little bit future, I have no idea. But other than that, everything seems to be really, I mean, I could definitely see everything seems to be like, sure, yeah, we don't all live in houses made of iron and with, like, blast doors and stuff, but there's something very, very realistic about it, so that you're kind of like, oh, yeah, well, it's, sir, it's the future, but warehouses and heavy lifting machines and stuff still seems really realistic and like tangible. I don't know what I'm saying. What else? Um, oh, I, I liked, um, aesthetic wise, I like Ripley's gross little apartment that we see briefly. Um, <laughs> I like kind of the, the science fiction tiny horrible apartment feel. Like, uh, the fifth, the fifth element has tiny, horrible apartments, um, that are kind of goofy, and I love those, and eventually I'm actually going to finish watching the fifth element and then review it, but, um, that's so dumb. I watched, like, 90% of that movie, and then I just never finished it, and it's like, why? I was in the climax. Okay. But, um, yeah, this movie is super good, and, uh... I don't know, I know there's more. There's at least a third one. I'm not sure if the third one is the one that's supposed to really suck. Because what I've heard is Alien is good, Aliens is really good, but I'm not really sure how many other ones there are, but at least one of them really sucks. So, probably will not be watching those. Oh, and Prometheus, which I actually do want to watch. Um, so we'll see. Um, I guess it'll, because that only came out a few years ago, I guess, so it'll be interesting to see when I watch that how they can, like, recapture this aesthetic, like, how, how well they make the visual look of that movie fit in with this, like, movies from the 80s. Because you gotta admit that sometimes reboots or prequels or what the hell ever being made kind of in the 21st century, let's say, not doing a great job of capturing the look of earlier stuff in the same franchise. I might be talking about Star Trek. I mean, I get that they were, you know, rebooting it, let's make it look different, but it's like, okay, how come you feel like you could make the Bridge of the Enterprise look like an Apple store? But you don't feel like you could maybe modify the ladies' uniforms or, mm, you know, any of those things that you could point to in the original series and say, that kind of sucks. What if we changed that since it's not the 60s anymore? Mm. And then somehow they made it worse because of the short sleeves that don't show rank. Oh. Anyway, never over that. Okay, but this movie was really good. But, um, this movie was really good, yeah. And, um... That's my super insightful review. <laughs>